that's how it go I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes Stay in your lane, I just stay on the go I can't play with the pros and act like a rookie so they overlook me They not double up again, none of their nose, none of them cold They just got lucky but never adapted so I'm telling the one if it's coming to blows My enemies cutting it close, I let them think that they got me but what do you know I had them beat before we ever spoke, I'm ready for smoke I need to know everything, who and the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. What's going on, drivers? How are y'all doing today? Hope all y'all are doing great, staying out of trouble, being safe, and all that good stuff. As you can see, I got my triangles out back there. I think you can see them. Mm. Let me look at my deal here. Yeah, you can kind of see them. They're back there. But yeah, I got my triangles out. Uh, by the way, teachable moment here. If you break down, how long do you have to get your triangles out? Because there actually is a time limit. It's 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to get your triangles out. If you are hit and you've been stopped for longer than 10 minutes on the side of the highway, a traveled highway, and your triangles aren't out, it is your fault, driver. Just letting you know, just a heads up. I was working for a company one time that was actually in the middle of a lawsuit over just that because they had a driver that had broken down and didn't put his triangles out, ended up getting hit, and I think by Z log he had been there like 22 23 minutes something like that so it ended up being the company's fault the driver's fault all that kind of stuff so keep that in mind you know one thing that sucks and you're going to notice this throughout the course of this video people don't seem to move over anymore look like that he had room to move over here comes another one plenty of room to move over you see how much it affects the truck if you drive a car you may think that it doesn't affect the truck when you're going by but it does you notice these these cars it's like you see how much my lighter is moving you see that lighter and that's just cars going by that's not trucks it doesn't take much to affect it but uh, one of my biggest fears man i'll tell you a little story and this is something that has always been a fear of mine eight or nine years ago i was running refrigerated and you know running refrigerated you run a lot of nights and a guy went through truck driving school was working for the same company i was working for me and him would talk a lot especially running nights you know because you, you generally when you run nights you're on the phone more because you're trying to stay awake you talk to other drivers that are running nights right he broke down he broke down out in new mexico on i-40 not too far from santa rosa but he had called me because he was sitting on the side of the road he was waiting on road breakdown to get out there to him right me and him are talking on the phone man you know he's waiting on road breakdown to get there i was up in connecticut i think i had a whole foods load and uh he's like man it's gonna be a few hours so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get a nap i'm like go for it man holler at me when you get up i'll be up you know that kind of thing he goes to sleep i never hear from him didn't hear from him the rest of the night I, I go to sleep and then i get up that afternoon the next afternoon getting ready to roll again and i jump on facebook see what's going on man and he was on my facebook and i see on his timeline rest in peace rest in peace rest in peace you know and i didn't know his family so i didn't want to message and ask what happened or anything like that scrolling through trying to figure out what had happened you know and and through reading the messages on his facebook i was able to figure out that what had happened well, anyway that night when he broke down when he told me he was going to go take a nap he went back there, hopped in the sleeper, went to sleep. I don't know about y'all, but I normally sleep with my head to the driver's side. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do, but I do. It's just the way most trucks are set up, that's the way it's comfortable. Not only that, your TV mounts normally on the passenger side. Another truck came through, which later I heard, or later I heard rumor that the other guy, the, the, the other trucker was on his phone. Don't know for a fact, but what I do know for a fact is another truck came through. He either fell asleep, was on his phone, wasn't paying attention or whatever happened, but he sideswiped, went right down the side of that, of the truck of my buddy who was broke down the side of the road. Well, it tore through the sleeper and uh, killed my buddy. Matter of fact, decapitated my buddy. His funeral was closed casket. I didn't know that that'd be the last time I ever spoke to him. Yeah, you don't think about that kind of stuff. It's crazy, but ever since then, when I break down, I can't go back there and go to sleep. No matter how long I gotta wait, I'm up. You know, and I'm watching traffic. And if something looks off, you know, I'll jump out the passenger side or whatever I gotta do, I'll get over the passenger seat, whatever I gotta do. You know, but if the other driver was on their phone, you know, you think about it, that's a pretty selfish death. 
that's a pretty selfish way to kill somebody because basically you're saying your text is more important than someone else's life or whatever you're, you're, you're whatever you're searching on the internet is more important than someone else's life you know they had that driver up there in uh i think it was indiana might have been illinois and this couple this ain't been but a couple years ago but i saw i think last year where he got sentenced he got sent to prison but he killed a worker in a construction zone when they investigated they found out that he was watching porn on his phone while driving through the construction zone and were able to get it down they were they figured out that he was on his phone watching porn at the time that he killed that construction worker working in the road construction you know this morning i got a little upset because i saw a comment on one of my videos and it said that this and i'm gonna screenshot it and i'm gonna make a video gonna talk all about it you know i might even put it up in this one right here so you can see but it said uh drivers are like animals that need to be controlled and it's talking about truckers you know and it's on one of my shorts it's on one of the shorts where i talk about the trash and stuff on the side of the road or near a truck stop or something somewhere oh yeah a truck stop up in oregon and uh he said not only that but drivers drive like animals that need to be controlled I'll tell you something that concerns me about that a lot a whole lot and something that concerns me about that a whole lot is it's that mentality that will put that will usher in automated vehicles because the public viewing us that way will make the public believe that automated trucks are better Automated trucks don't litter. Automated trucks don't distract and drive. Automated trucks don't do this, they don't do that. And I already hear, I can hear some of you drivers right now. Oh, but they still got a driver in there. Yes, they do. But that driver, it, if they went all automated out here and you were a driver sitting inside an automated truck, you would be a minimum wage driver. Because at that point, they can, do, they can put just about anybody in there. They could train a monkey to sit in there. Cause all he's doing is watching the automated truck driving it from the warehouse to the to the road and the road back to the warehouse your your amount of work goes down the amount of training they need to do goes down i don't know about you but i don't want to be out here driving trucks for ten dollars an hour but that's what will happen that's the problem with automated trucks but with that in mind i saw a uh, pepsi co pepsi got an order of automated trucks in december and I'm gonna throw a picture up right here. It ain't even been a month and they already got them on a tow hook. They're already having to tow them back. They're already breaking down, having issues. So that's actually a good sign for us. Well, anyway, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna let this thing just close itself on out. Y'all have a good one. Take care, stay safe. Please, if you see a car or a truck on the side of the road, don't do like some of these yahoos and drive right by a move over you know the driver will appreciate it and if there's a guy out there changing a the tire he's going to appreciate it you know a lot a lot of them road service guys get killed every year from people not moving over you know it's a really common accident you'd be surprised how often it happens you know blowouts and stuff like that are common yeah that's what i got here it's just a blowout it happens it, it happens all the time but y'all take care, stay safe, and keep trucking.